By Dota Center and Moondog TV, my name is Sunstan, joined by Purge and Pimp Muckle on Observer slash Production. Welcome to this best of three series in the Hippo group between Mama's Boys and Evil Geniuses. This is going to be a best of three. Purge, tell me your life story. Well, I'm uh, I'm sick right now. I woke up at 7 a.m. and I'm going to be casting Dota until about 7 p.m. tonight. Can't wait. Wait, you didn't say you were sick before. What's the sickness? Uh, I just have a little bit of a cold, that's all. I'm in the uh, nasal congestion and leaking stage. Oh, is this the? Does that mean it's early stage or you're in the midst of uh, I'm like the two or three days in. I, I left the house for some reason like four days ago and I happened to get sick. Normally I don't leave the house, man. but it got me, dude. Gotta learn your lesson, my... man. Yeah, you gotta I should have washed my hands the... before I ate. That was my mistake. Stick to the code oh, of conduct of all gamers. Just don't leave the house. If you need I groceries, do, man. have somebody else do it. That was like the first time I left the house in like six days or something like ah. that. It's, it's It was a mistake. It really was. That's rough, man. That's rough. How long do your colds usually last? Um, Once in a while, they, they drag on for a little bit too long, but, you know, less than a week. Something That's like that. not too bad, then. That's... That's great to hear. Thanks, Purge, for the update on your life. Anyway, this is a best of three like I talked about. Uh, the way the point system works for the group stage is each uh, game or each win is considered one point. If it's a 2-0, though, you get three points. So there's a potential for 0, 1, 2, and three points. Evil um, turn to but aside from that, the group stage isn't anything special because nobody gets knocked out. That's the cool <laughs> thing about it. It's basically the ranking for the playoffs as far as upper bracket, lower bracket are concerned. Okay, let's look over the heroes. Techies. Let's let's see that picked, Purge. Okay? Yeah. It's, uh, it's so bad. Techies is so bad. I actually so don't even enjoy it. Only the suicide build's fun, right? The normal build just sucks. It's, I don't know, man. The only thing Techies is really good at is delaying the game. Like, I played a game against Stasis Traps the other day. It was awful. Like, Techies was horrible until the <laughs> moment where I started getting stunned repeatedly for three and a half seconds. But before that, it was like, Techies is awful. He's accomplishing very little other than, like, AoEing with... Is that like, uh, so, like a Yule's Stasis Trap? Is that how you do it? Uh, no. It's basically, he puts the mines down and I walk into them like an idiot. Oh, okay. That That's the second strategy I didn't mention. Lena. All right, I gotcha, I gotcha. Lena's going to be the first pick for EG. That in all likelihood will be the Sumail mid. But you never know. Could be a Plays fear. Plays great, Lena. Um, uh, Lena in the safe lane, or in the mid lane, sorry, is just really good against a lot of matchups. And I think when you're playing Captain's Draft, you have to grab any top tier mid hero that you can, because the chances that it matches up well against almost every other thing that your opponents pick is very high. So I think of Viper then. Viper's available I mean, for mid. Viper's okay. Um, a little susceptible to ganks, both sides are, but I would say Lena's a little better than Viper. Viper obviously can trade the damage back. His corrosive skin is going to reduce the damage she does, but they can she, actually... she outputs way more damage safely from range. Mama's boys can actually wait on the mid because there's also a Zeus, so they have a little bit of uh, they have some options available to them. Also, yeah, Gyro's that's is available. That's a top tier pick for carry. Expect one of those teams to pick it up for sure. Um, I think could, could see Clinks likes as well, it, by the way. It. EG has been drafting Clinks. Uh, they were drafting in China when they were playing there, so could see a Clinks. Whoa! It looks like Mama's boy is going to go for a ranged hero. Draft. So I'm gonna Very guess early. Viper maybe here. Well, I guess I don't have to pick the Viper now. Uh, they should prioritize the support. The supports are really weak. There's not a lot of support. So Veno, Marana, uh, um, they're gonna go for their offlane with Phoenix though. But okay. I was gonna say CM, Coddle, Veno, Marana are their support options. Basically, there's not a lot. Yeah. You know, look. I mean, look at the offlanes. There's. I mean, Magnus, Bristleback, maybe Doom. Blockwork actually is probably the best bet. The best bet overall for offlane. So I guess pick for EG right now too because yeah. of the draw ranger. Getting in melee range is going to be really good, really good. Yeah, they definitely need some catch and going to be a universe clockwork in all likelihood. Of course, we have seen support clockwork in the past. It's absolutely awful, but you never know in Captain's draft. The only time it's good weaker. is if you pair it with like a dark steer and you're pressuring like a tanky melee carry. That's like the only time that support clockwork is good in my opinion. So EG now has two heroes that can close the gap with draw ranger. And I don't know. That's really damn good. And Weaver's yeah. pretty good against Phoenix as well because of the uh, Geminate attack. That's a really good point. Um, Dryranger can silence Weaver, and that's really scary for them. And they also have a Tiny who's very good against both Weaver and Lena with the burst damage. So if Tiny has a good game, I could definitely see Mama's Boys taking this. But right now, EG has some pretty good picks to deal with what Mama's Boys have. And the interesting thing here is that EG took their cores first three. Oh, we're assuming Lena's mid. So it's assuming that three cores right off the bat, so now they need the supports. And CM is available. Uh, Good CM game. Oh. Uh, they go for the Zeus. Uh, this could, could be a couple be a things. Zeus too. 
could be min Zeus, it could be a support Zeus, it could be a core Zeus, like farm in the safe lane. Uh, all those are options, I think. I do really like this CM idea. CM is going to help out Weaver a lot. Weaver has really low int and mana in the early game. Zeus as well. Clockwork can spam more spells. Lena can also use that. I think CM is just a, a straightforward support pick for EG. The only problem is that she's very weak to Tiny. Like, Tiny's going to blow her off. Phoenix can absolutely wreck a CM. Um, Drow Ranger can kind of shred her from range. Whoa! And, okay, so support Lena, support Zeus, I guess. Could be and... a jungling lifestealer with Zeus mid. As Doom be... is the last pick for Mama's boy. What I mean, a EG weird could draft just pull EG. the Kuroki lifestealer, right? We just, just jungle. They can. Get radiance. They absolutely cheesy. can. So Fear is playing life steal, so he's going to be jungling life steal and going for the the cheesy ancient strat. Hell yeah. Um, the disables on Mama's boys are pretty darn weak, but they're going to have really good right click with the Drow Ranger aura. Although it only applies to two of their five heroes, so Drow ended up being kind of a crappy pick as we look at the end of the draft. <laughs> That's a good point. That's actually the. I was more shocked than anything that it was first picked. Like. Pretty sure that's not going to get picked most games with all these other heroes. I mean, Gyro was left untouched, and Viper. I, I thought those two would go in the first phase at the very least, but not at all, apparently. Well, Lifestealer has a vehicle in Clockwork if he needs to infest bomb something. Something. Now, did you watch the Kuroki game where he played Lifestealer? I think I saw the the vod, and it was it was pretty disgusting. Yeah. Did he wait, did he actually go radiance? I can't can't actually remember that. Um, I think he did. Yeah, I think he went movement speed first. He went like phase or something. He went like like a uh, fast drum, I believe, and then yeah, radiance after is usually the build that way you get the radiance burn. But this just farms so fast, man. I've been playing it a lot actually, and it's insane. You get. This is the exact build. I mean, it's pretty much standard. But Iron Talon with Tangos, you don't have to leave the jungle. There's a nice little trick with Open Wounds, where once you're low after the first couple camps, you apply Open Wounds to the big creep, and then you Iron Talon it, and you get a ton of HP back. It's oh, yeah, because the, the damage you deal is, is going to be... Yeah, because that's the way Open Wounds works. It's very different than a lot of other um, life steals. It does, it's all damage that you deal. It's not just your right-click force, for example. So it's actually quite synergistic with like Zeus and Lina. If you Open Wounds... A core and they throw their nukes out they're gonna actually heal quite a bit from it yeah it's actually yeah like you said it's a forgotten mechanic in a lot of ways it's not something people really or many people focus on but it's pretty cool especially in the jungle so expect to see that in the near future for fear as he's gonna take out some of these trees i guess setting up for the pull basically okay. it's really nice to do this that way it's easier to pull to the left camp or pull to the right camp depending on which one you want. now did do you know if kuroki went midas or not I think you um, kind of need Midas to accelerate the farm. I, I disagree. You don't have to. It depends what, you don't control, have to? It depends what ancient you get. If you get like the Black Dragon, you can just clear creep waves by yourself. And you still get oh, experience in it. So you actually, okay. So you actually do that at level 6. Yeah, ideally. Rush okay. 6 as fast as possible and then you, you go for doing Okay, that. I can see that. I guess it is somewhat dependent on what you get in the Ancients. And of course, Mama's Boys should know this is coming. So they can eventually start warding up those camps to prevent them from spawning. But... Lifestealer is hilarious because you can literally just sit in the jungle for 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and you're halfway to your Radiance with a Midas if you want to go that route as well. Pretty yeah, ridiculous farming. Then rate. you're not contributing to your team at all, and sometimes that can be a bad thing. It, you can you can base it uh, on how the laning stage is going. It's bottom lane, we're going to see LSA connect onto the Phoenix. He's just going to Icarus dive away. I mean, if let's say your lanes are winning, you just stay in the jungle, right? I mean, that's just an extra body. You're getting way more experience in gold as a result. It's much more efficient yeah. overall. But if your lanes are losing, it's not a really good place to be in. That's yeah. the, the scary part here. Well, it's going to come down to mid a lot. I think um, if Tiny can do a really good job, then it can mean a big advantage for EG here. Uh, we didn't technically mention this. We did it before the cast actually started, but Weeha is standing in for Mama's Boys. They've made some changes to the roster. Um, and, of course, this is technically allowed because... Uh, Secret is not in Captain's Drafts, so... Uh, is Are there any justified rumors that they're, that Weehaw's leaving Secret or anything like that? Or is this just a full... Well, I don't know if there's justified enough. I mean, obviously I mean, they can't the change the time, roster, right? right? This right is now. the second time that Weehaw's played Ben in for Mama's Boys, correct? Yeah, that is correct. I feel it could be surprising for him to go to a team like Mama's Boys, though, because he had some really good success on Secret, surely. I, I, I don't think he's actually swapping. Um, I, I mean, if he were, that, if but... that were to happen, then in all likelihood, of course, I don't know anything about the situation, but in all likelihood, he would have to be kicked. But of course, that can't happen until after Shanghai. Uh, good point. So either way, no news on that and won't be for the next month. 
Maybe right after. I mean, it depends on their placing as well. As it's like Fear is going to open wounds to Phoenix. And this so may not seem like a big deal, but he just used like half of his mana on that. So he can't use it on the creep. His mid lane, Weeha, getting forced out against to mail. Yeah, but level with, four. That, with that said, it also costs... It's a 35 second cooldown for Icarus Dive. And it costs him 14 or 15% of his mana, like our HP. That's huge for Phoenix. That's true. He's still level one too. Tango. Yeah, like it sucks to play Phoenix in the offlane for this reason. The hero gets zoned very easily. And when you compare his levels to Universe in the top lane, who's three and a half right now, definitely going the way of EG in that department. As far as CS is concerned, mid lane, Weeha, 11 and two. And Sumail, where the hell is he? Nine and one, okay, not, not too far off then. Neither of which are really farming that well, honestly. Yeah, kind of interesting to see him go back so early, but you know, when Zeus is completely missing his mana pool, it hurts him Ooh, so wow. much to be that far behind. It's a, a sentry down and just spot out Weeha, but big loss here. A little toss back to the crits as well, but unfortunately nobody there to really initiate on top of that, as we're going to have a TP in. He's going to fill up his bottle. Do you think that should be changed? I think we've talked about this before. At least I've talked about it with Sindarin. Uh, um, the bottle it, crying. It's not as bad as it used to be. The the health restore, it got nerfed on bottles, so it's not quite as bad. I don't think it's a super oath. It doesn't bother me as much as it used to, personally. Yeah, I, I agree. It used to bother me more when um, literally anybody could play mid and get away with it because of bottle crying. Yeah, but the bottle used to be like, what, 130 days. HP or something like that. Now it does yeah. 90. It's a huge nerf to bottle. Bottom lane again. LSA will connect yet again. Arrow will pop, though, onto PPD. And this looks to be, in all likelihood, first blood going away of Mama's boys. As Phoenix get the hell out of there, but the last right click of Arteezy will get the kill. So it'll be a trade. A one for one. Very good for Mama's boys, though. It's it's hard to expect those arrows sometimes, and when it's five seconds, man, you just get stunned for so long. How do you deal with that? I mean, if, I if arrows it. are hit, then this is the most overpowered roaming hero in the game by far. But of course, yep. it's... Pretty sure what I just said was the most uh, deserving moment for me to get thanks purge spamming in chat. So thanks, I'm, gonna fully, I'm gonna fully accept that one. Mid lane haste pop by Weeha goes for the combo, but Sumail lives through it. PD is here for support, more moral support than anything. As they're gonna counter ward. Yeah, he, he actually bolted on Weeha, and because of that, they saw the observer ward there. It's a really good place for knobs. And Saksa takes an LSA. Weeha wants some more. He's going Ooh. really deep. Pops the wand to survive. Miss? Combo will connect. And PPD dies yet again as Health Salve is used onto Weeha. Fear's oh, gonna here. cancel that with a right click and open right wounds. Click. He gets tossed back to the <laughs> tier Radiant's one mid. <laughs> and Weeha's just gonna TP out. Wow, it's very cheeky play. You just can't do anything. He's just in here slowly slapping creeps. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is my life now. I mean, like you said, though, that's the downside of Life Seal Jungle early game, not the most. Yeah. I mean, open wounds is okay, but you have to be super up close now for that to go off. Yeah, he hasn't bought boots yet. He's got a bit of a weird build. Now, normally I was like, okay, he's rushing Vlad's. That makes sense. You get on the big creep, so the, the creep gives out that armor aura. But you do still need boots. Your base movement speed, I believe, is what applies to the neutral. Yes. So maybe he's going for a super Vlad's rush, but surely it's worth it to get at least a brown boots. It would slightly increase his farm by a very, very marginal amount. But You know, an interesting mechanic, because um, you were just mentioning that base movement speed is applied to the creeps, but... And I don't know if they, they or not, or if he, if he was in a, even a bug at all, but if you popped sh phase shift as bottom lane, holy crap, Phoenix getting super low. If you pop phase on to phase boots and then jump into a creep, that movement speed stays. And again, I don't know if that's been fixed or not. Or on which hero? Bug. On Lifestealer. So you pop phase, that movement speed that you have that at that current point in time is applied to the creeps. Yeah, they would definitely need to change that. That sounds pretty good. Oh, pretty arrow insane. Hitting... Oh, it hits Sumail oh. instead. He's got to grab the DD now. Yeah, indeed. He gets gusted up, does PPD, taking some slow action. Sumail does too much damage. There's no way they want to initiate into that. Yeah, that was a little too scary. I think if there wasn't a DD, they would have gone for that. I actually do like that Pycats max out as Frost Arrows. I think it's something that most Drows just don't do. And I think it's a big mistake because there's a lot of cases where keeping your opponent in one place is going to guarantee you a kill. And he's probably done it due to being against a Clockwork. If he doesn't have a slow Clockwork, can easily run him down. But with the high levels of the Frost Arrows, oh, can actually... We have... Oh my goodness! Goodness. Great toss into a doom, which we forgot to even mention, has been jungling this entire time. 
And yeah, he's a little bit more useful than a life suit. PPD is going to connect on the LSA, but the Avalanche will connect as well. In turn, the PPD will die. Yapstorm, in the meantime, this could be great levels for Fear and Farm as well, as he's surrounded by three members of EG. So it's a two for one at the oh, end. Oh, cool build. He actually wasn't making a blood. He was making Tranquil Boots, because Tranquil Boots are faster by far. Yeah. This is how he's abusing it, like what we were just talking about. He gets the fastest boots. That's the cheapest. Obviously, he's not going to afford boots to travel. And with the Tranquil Boots, he bought himself a flying courier. Was, was that on purpose? Oh, because the courier died, okay. Yeah, Maybe the courier died in it. the jungle, actually. It was kind of comical to watch. Uh, but... At seven minutes, that's, that's, I don't know, man, that's pretty bad. So he's going to get, they did stack Ancients. He gets his choice. He's probably going to take the Granite Golem here. Oh, that's, that one that's, and the Dragon, so one of the ones armor. you want, right? Like the, the Triceratops. He does go okay. for the Granite. The Triceratops just, is considered the worst, right? I mean, that's pretty... Um, it, it, the, its survivability is way worse, only has two armor, but it does can give an ally an attack speed bonus, and it has a an AoE ability, and it gives... Uh, uh, mini Bloodlust, and... right? Yes, uh, it's actually not even more than 75 attack speed. It's a ridiculous bullet. Oh, wow. So it's 100% uptime, actually. Very good. Hookshot, bottom lane, Phoenix. Does not have Icarus died. That's going to be an easy kill once the hook shot uh, connected. And Arteezy now has Perseverance, so obviously going towards that Lincoln Sphere. It's a huge kill, and that kind of comes down to PPD zoning the Phoenix. If Phoenix was 6 there, they may not have been able to get that kill. Weeha right now in the Radiant Jungle has an Arcane Rune bottled. He has 1,700 gold, so definitely rushing that Blink Dagger. Really wants to find Arteezy, but the, the Zeus Alt will scout him out. Nicely done by Sumail, and Weeha is just forced out. I haven't seen much from Marana after that one arrow, but just that's the beauty of the hero. She can just find easy farm, easy levels. I mean, he's also level 5 already. That's pretty impressive. I don't have any idea why he went for 2 points in leap. I think that was a pretty big mistake. Uh, I guess you double the movement speed bonus, but I just don't see that justifying the levels this early in the game. Maybe it was a misclick or something. Mm, you know, he's highly leveled. For, for a roaming support, he's doing a good job in that way. Well, universe. Fuck wants to get this. Yeah, he really wants it, but hook shot. Oh, actually, it is on. It is off cooldown. It, it, he was on cooldown as uh, he shot her and got her really low. So I like the, his positioning here. He stood right by the tree. That way, if she ran back to base, he would he would have been able to catch her as she escaped. But that way, he didn't also have to show that he was there. Bottom lane, Arteezy, the newly 8k MMR. Congratulations, good sir. He's going to find Phoenix, who has Icarus Dive and ult. So could potentially get away. Gets a couple Fire Spirits off. Pycat's here for moral support as well. Arteezy just going to run away. It's smart that he backed off rather than going for that. Like, that guy was going to press his ultimate button before Arteezy got the kill, and then Arteezy's in a dangerous spot. So he just backs off, gets him low, force him into the scariest position, and uh, go back to farming. All right, let's, let's look at the farm here, man. Lifestealer, 3,200 net worth. Close to that is Doom in the jungle. So overall, pretty even. But the difference is Doom's going to have a mech pretty damn soon. And with the Blink Dagger of Tiny, it means they can just gank a lot more and be a little bit more aggressive overall as opposed to fear i mean he gets in a creep he's not going to be that useful in the creep he gets more something like a radiance uh i mean kind oh, of unless but... the dragon is there <laughs> yeah the, Pretty the, good. the dragon what's he really wanted because this allows him to farm really hard and split push you'll see him just nuke this wave here group up creeps a little bit put some fire down Ooh, okay it's still it's still hitting him it's all, all good for him just does so much damage it's on a 10 bottom lane point. meantime it's easy Forced out yet again. Okay, so speaking of nerfs, do you think... Oh, this... here comes the blink. Oh, he misses. Oh. RTZ is going to dodge the avalanche. He's going to do some right clicks to Weeha, but here comes Universe, and Weeha is in a ton of trouble. Moonlight Shadow, in all likelihood, it will be too late. Hookshot ensures the kill for EG. Really nice little gank there. RTZ barely stays alive. If if that's Tiny getting a kill, then you're going to start seeing games like what happened earlier today with no one going insane on Tiny, but if those first kills don't come through, it puts them in a really bad position. Oh, Gust will actually miss. I don't think they had really any kill opportunity here for uh, against RTZ. All right, quick balance update. Uh, if you were Ice Frog, does Black Dragon need to be nerfed? Uh, the, yes, they need to nerf the Fireball ability. It's the cooldown is too low. It's basically permanent uptime, and you can yeah. cast up to five times on your hero. And because he's got a Ring of Basilius, he's also slowly increasing his mana. So it's important to have the Basilius, not just for the armor giving your team bonus five armor but i have a minor nerf i don't know how big of a difference it makes i'm interested in your opinion if the drake gets no mana regen passively it's a stupid way to nerf the hero in my opinion 
You don't have to have to reduce his total mana, or... Well, you can do you can do both, though. Like, because he's in it for so long that he's going to get an extra one or two casts as well. So it's not just five, right? Um, I, I just think that's absolutely not the right way to nerf it. Like, just nerf the cooldown. Increase it by, like, twice or something. Like, he can right, cast how this... About... How about Lifestealer not being able to jump in an Ancient at level 6? It would have to be 11. I think that's fair. It's the best way to nerf it, in my opinion. Alright. Arteezy with double damage bottom lane. Dive, yet it My god, he's gonna have to force Supernova. Mm. That is unfortunate, but he'll live. It's 105 seconds on cooldown now. And the split push continues. <laughs> this is so dumb. Yeah, he, he literally, the, they can't deal with him yet because their right click damage isn't high enough yet. You know who should be going after him is probably Drow. Drow yeah. could definitely, that's... she definitely has enough physical damage to be able to kill the Ancient. She can't slow it, that's the next issue. It's like, you can right click it, but... Uh, Zeus you know, ult again? I, I, like, I like how he's doing this though. Like, they, they they looked at the Mama's Boy lineup and they said the only way we lose this game is if Tiny goes crazy and gets a lot of kills. So they constantly ulti to look where enemy heroes are, to see where the ganks are coming, see if they're taking Roche. It's giving them tactical advantage. They feel like they can definitely outplay this lineup if they just don't get ganked or smoked on. And it's kind of funny. On paper, if you look at EG's lineup, you don't really think, hey, we can push towers. But with that life save, they can do anything. Weehaw in the meantime, taking some burst damage from the Zeus. Gets the toss on the universe, but the hook shot will be there. And Weehaw down again. Not what you want to see from a Tiny. In fact, we've seen Tiny all three games now that I think about it today. Yeah. It's not working out this game, surprisingly. Um, Zeus is pretty farmed already, Aether Lens as well as the Soul Ring, so he's going to be able to transition his items nicely. Yeah, that's nice. Good old Aether Lens. Good item. Very good on Zeus. You really need that extra cast range. Like, he's already very squishy, so if you have to come within silence range of a, of a Draw Ranger, for example, the Aether Lens allows you to do damage without putting yourself in danger. Well, Phoenix Egg will be up in another 15 seconds, so they could potentially fight, but... Mail is super strong right now. And the fact that Weaver, Arteezy's Weaver right now, is top net worth is not a good sign for Mama's Blaze. Like, regardless of everything else that's going on, Weaver is not a hero that should be top net worth at 14 minutes. A golden I mean, he's clearly going to have to farm a Lincoln's first before he feels comfortable fighting. Right. Oh, arrow almost Ooh. hitting him very close. If they didn't have a lane ward, yeah, that's very smart of them. They put a sentry down. It's very clear that he juked to see the arrow coming. That would have hit him if they didn't have a ward there. So really nice D ward there by Mom. And another D ward by PPD. What well, a pro he D only warder. Got a, he only got a sentry though, so this wasn't worth it. Tiny's yeah, been but missing it, well. Throw it's the ulti a down. quest, man. You got to D ward as many wards as possible. They just found an enemy observer ward as well because the enemy heroes happen to be in this area. Oof, so yeah. that observer ward was going to be cleared, and that's going to really hurt the vision of Mom's voice another thing that people don't talk about that much is yeah. potential with Zeus just finding more I mean it's in all like in a lot of ways it's like Slark except more useful because Zeus himself can actually kill the wards as well yeah it, I mean it might be that but in reality what I actually might be is maybe Sumail uh, is trying to get placed into a higher MMR bracket and he's trying to increase his overall hero damage because now he's jealous <laughs> that that Arteezy's AK and he's yeah, not so yeah. now he's just casting his ultimate whenever it's off cooldown lol 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 universe has hookshot available with the newly purchased blade mail. Could initiate if he wants to, Pycat. Definitely scout it out. Oh, they're gonna find him. Yapsor with the Doom available. He's gonna get cogged in. Arrow will completely miss. Can he even get Doom off with the battery assault? Not, don't think it's gonna matter. Weeha's there with the burst damage and LSA will connect on Yapsor into the Laguna Blade, but the mech just in time keeps him alive and PPD on the run. Here comes the Phoenix into the Supernova. Right clicks from Pycat will suffice in the kill. That is two there. Arrow. arrow will hit the backside of Sumail. Weeha, definitely enough damage to go around. That is three huge kills for Mama's boys. Yeah, the, man, that, that arrow was beautiful. It The first two kills were great, but the third kill was amazing. That gives him a huge advantage. I, I would say that's mostly PPD's mistake. He really felt like he could get that kill there, but it just was enough damage, you know? It's a level one Laguna Blade and a little bit overly uh, over overconfident for PPD to get that kill, and he puts himself out of position, and it also led to a Zeus death. So. How did they scout? Out the clockwork did he uh rocket flare out i, I did not position? catch that part um yeah I, i'm not sure maybe According an arrow Pimp, or something did. okay so that might have been a big mistake from universe actually because they found him pretty easily and bursting him down as a result yeah roshan is going to be attempted from mama's boys yapsor still has doom by the way and mech is off or online in another five seconds so it'll be tough for eg he also has the Cloak War, a little bit of an interesting choice because it only gives him 5% magic resistance, but he's gonna block the hookshot. Yapsor, 
don't think he can get Doom off. So in oh, fact, he's going to die before doesn't... casting it. Phoenix, extremely low, does not have Supernova. Remember, he just used it. And this Roshan might go in the way of EG, in fact. Yeah, Pycat getting destroyed to the right click of Arteezy. Weeha, in the meantime, does take out the Zeus. So on the run, but Arteezy, again, the right clicks will do way too much damage. Arrow, not going to be able to connect this time. Roshan, very low. About 10% HP left on him. This is and so Arteezy scary. with the Swarm. That, I think they can get this. We'll see, though. Pycat, did he buy back? Oh, they could right, be. Pycat bought back. We have another buyback on Marana. Laguna it's Blade so onto Pycat. This could be a dieback with the blade mail and a battery assault. There's enough to take him out. Weeha the Roche gets the big toss. Weaver takes the Aegis. And EG gets the kill on Roshan as well. That is huge for them. As Weeha gets off an avalanche on Arteezy. Arteezy shikuchiing away. Better be careful, man. He's going for it. He's going deep. He's going to get tossed. And he's going to die with the Aegis. Kind of a waste, but Universe gets doomed. Of course, Doom back into the fray. What That's an arrow. Big kill on Universe. Arteezy, was he arrowed? Indeed he was. They're going to get some right clicks off. And the oh avalanche toss my combination. God. My god, Mama's Boy somehow salvaged this. That was an intense fight, man. So close, but EG does get the Aegis, but that arrow was guaranteeing the Weaver from getting nothing after that. So really nice the plays by, by Soxa so far. His arrows have been absolutely amazing. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing the uh, net worth graph on this bad boy. Sometimes, I think the longer the game goes, the slower it updates, but I think it's updated now. So you can see the swing. Um, no, I think the, big, the biggest thing in that team fight was actually that Fear ended up dying. He got one shot by the Tiny. His build is not very conducive for survivability. If he doesn't see the Tiny coming, he doesn't rage in time, he just dies. And yeah, he almost news. got his Relic, yeah. but he got killed so early there that he, his hero wasn't contributing as much as he normally does when he's abusing Ancients. Universe misses the hook shot and... I think Phoenix will be able to get out as a result. Doxa hits another arrow this time on Fear. Not going to be able to find a kill. Another ultimate from Sumail. Just scouting things out. Moonlight Shadow. Doxa. Trying to position his way out of the jungle. My goodness. As here comes Weeha. Fear pops the rage. He's so true. Weeha has four staff. He wants to go for an Avatoss combination. Tosses it back to the teammates. And with the Infernal Blade. Yeah, oh! Totally Universe! Is. Using his body for the betterment of his team as Fear jumps in. And we'll live. Very heads up play there. TPD silenced up. Fear pops out. We'll run back to base. What a scary fight for them. They might grab Weeha though. They're right clicking a bit. Uh, no bolt hitting. Yeah, bolt does not connect. Arteezy arrowed up again. These arrows have been on freaking point this game. My yeah. god. It's been so good. They've been fighting in very good places for arrows as well, but his arrows have been great. It's everyone. The weird skill build too. The, he went 2 2 2 for a skill build. Who's this? The, the, the Marana. He, he was like 2 2 2 by level 7 or something. Mm, yeah, that's strange. It's very weird. Usually you see like 4 1 1 or something, but. Man, if you're going to hate your arrows, I don't care if you level it up. Oh, Avatar's combination yet again, this time on Arteezy, but he just time lapses out and he's good to go. He can't die to that anymore unless he's a little bit lower. The universe has hookshot available, blade mail's up as well. Arteezy's going to cut the wave, try to push it, but. Universe is going to think better of this and just back off. And Sumail using that Thunderbolt to its highest advantage, trying to counter ward, but there's no wards in sight. He has a point booster, by the way. I think he's he going... What's that? Uh, Pim said Fear's Radiance, but he doesn't. He actually bought the Radiance recipe when he thought he was going to die in the last fight, which I uh, totally understand. Okay. Um, I don't know if it would actually save him money. It actually wouldn't have, but... Soxa leaps to his death. Dang. Interesting that <laughs> he left that way. <laughs> I guess he obviously can't see what we see. an Ancient Dragon. So can probably accelerate into the radiance. Once he gets this, it's their team fight is a lot better. Yeah. A lot of those heroes can't deal with the radiance burn roll, especially Tiny. If he just follows Tiny around in a team fight and he's in like a ancient granite golem or something, Tiny just doesn't get to blink for the rest of the fight. It's that straightforward. And that's obviously the ancient granite golem is what you want once you have that radiance up and running. Pycat in the meantime takes a swarm, but RTZ not looking to get too aggressive yet. Lincoln Spear is complete and has casual ogre clubs, so is that going to be a BKB on top of the Lincolns? Um, BKB's I, not really... It's okay against Tiny, but... Eh, and Phoenix to some degree. Might be for the silence, I guess. Maybe it just feels like they have so many good anti-weaver abilities that that's the only way for him to play this game. The BKB is also kind of nice because it could help him guarantee the kill on... Phoenix. It's a Dragon Lance, bro! I swear. Oh, yeah, yeah I think you're right. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think that's actually the case, but... It's definitely very possible. Weaver's right, attack right. range is a bit I low. I like it. 
I mean, the beauty of that item is that it's disassemblable. Otherwise, it would be complete garbage. Yeah, definitely. Um, and with that item, I mean, he could even make something like Ags if he really wants to. I doubt he will, but... What do you think of Ags on him? It's so awkward, I, guess, it feels. I think it's okay, honestly. I don't think it's an item you should always buy. If your character potential is a bit weak, it's a bad choice. But if you're really ahead, Ags can be amazing. It lowers the cooldown to 20 seconds. You can use it on your allies. Like, imagine somebody getting doomed. He could time-lapse somebody that got doomed. Yeah, that's true. Well, another Thunder God's Wrath used for scouting, if nothing else. And Moonlight Shadow used as a counter. Oh, radiant is Radiant done? All right. Here comes the Radiant Ancient radiant Black Goofy Dragon. Here, one tower is going to take a beating. It will go down. And yeah, radiant Life Stealer is so dumb. <laughs> this is where things get really stupid. Yeah, basically. And we have a slow push amazingly. He doesn't have to worry about getting punished. I, I, I kind of like what PyCat's doing here. Um, it looks like he's building an SNY. Might be a, man, a Yasha into BKB. Probably it's smarter that way. But if he gets SNY, he can actually kind of kill these Dyer's ancients a little bit. I think you can SNY proc them. And if he gets more movement speed, he can catch up to those things and potentially just abuse fear that way. Are you sure MAME works? Nope. Because I, sure. I, this could be the fake hey, patch noise. You, know, you, you, you should be able to. You can MAME through BKB, so it should be the same for ancients. Well, that, I thought that was changed, but. I could be horribly wrong as usual though. Arrow, Arrow will connect misses. on Sumail. Ancient Granite Dragon Godforsaken one. Phoenix gets silent. No, he pops the ult. It's gonna get taken out really easily though, and that is a dead Phoenix right at the start of this fight. PBS and the Ancient sure. Dragon still doing work with that radiance. In the meantime, it is a one for one. PPD gets blown up thanks to the burst damage of Tiny. And Arteezy and company are forced back. And where's that dragon? Oh, he's still there. He's, he's pretty healthy. He's good to go. Oh, here we have more initiation. Weeha tossing Sumail. Oh right clicks his face down to the ground. Universe in the meantime gets the nice force tap cogs, and that'll be the death of Weeha. Two for two. Yapsor attempting to run away. Or TP, Ooh, I should say. No. Blocking Universe, though. My goodness. Yeah, that, that was pathing error right there. He tried to right click closer to him, but he needed to click behind where Fear was. That would have been within battery cell range. You can also maybe blame Fear a little bit for that. But um, I, I think if Universe was had the time to analyze the situation, he would have been able to get close. That was definitely a pathing issue. They would have had that kill, if not. Have you noticed this is... This doesn't turn into a tangent, but you, you just keep bringing up like random bizarre mechanics and asking. No, it's not a mechanic. Them. This is more. Have you noticed the pathing has gotten worse in the past no, like four or five months? Okay, so it's just my brain is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, I believe that. Okay, good. So what happens jumps when... into another dragon? So what happens when Ortiz uses the swarm on a neutral, but then you take the neutral over? He's still taking the damage. <laughs> but so can weird. you kill the swarm at that point? I doubt it. You just gotta wait for the duration. Well, he's almost got his Vlads. It'll be really nice. He's gonna be giving eight armor to his allies with Vlads and the Dragon Aura. Yeah. Man, every... Oh, this is so interesting. I mean, you brought this up earlier, but literally every ult, I think, from Sumail has been for scouting purposes. Yeah, almost every Very one. cool. Like, it if, was kind of working, but now, now their last team fights haven't been going very well. He just getting this was uh, Vega and he went the, uh, the Shadow Blade build as well, and Zeus this would counter it even else. harder. No, 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 on Tiny. Remember the, oh, okay. the Shadow Blade build? It would not have worked at all. Yeah, it would, but he didn't go that. Tier 2, bottom. Being pounded into by EG. They're going to trade their Tier 1 for it, and I think they're fine with that. Yeah, they might even go high ground. They can split push so fast. Yeah, pretty dirty. Universe cogging off everybody. Oh, that was Get really cool. Get centaur stomped randomly. <laughs> Wait, is this a... Oh, yeah, this is a, a drop neutral, creep. Yeah. Okay. They, they toss it on him and stun him. Bottom lane, tier 3, already at half HP. And Weeha just getting his blink cancelled over and over and over. Super annoying to play against Zeus. Universe did use his ulti, by the way, so they might try to fight here. They're going in. Yeah, they're going to jump in. We have a toss. Phoenix has the egg available. Moonlight Wait, Shadow's going to be popped. There's the Doom on top of Sumail. No ult 3, although it's on cooldown anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Universe... Can't see mail help close. take out the egg again. Very close to popping though. Yapster in the meantime, they have vision. He pops his mech. Guess who's still in the freaking dragon burning away at Doom? That's right, it is fear in that black dragon. And down goes the Doom. That's a two for one. PPD makes it an even trade. Two for two. Pika attempting to TP out, but the right clicks are going to be way too much. Oh, wow. He actually gets out. Oh, literally one HP? Okay. Was, I think that's really me smart hard. of fear to jump out there, but. They just didn't quite have enough damage. Fear's damage is actually quite good now with the Radiance, though. So. Oh, Soxa. Oh, it's a dead man. Yeah. Got a little bit unlucky. 
Could have gone the, to the pit itself, but... The BKB on Ortiz was great, though. Guaranteed the Phoenix kill. If the Phoenix didn't get killed there, I think Mama's Boy definitely could have won that fight. But I, I just want to point out how well Weeha's doing. He's consistently staying alive and getting kills and being a nuisance to the heroes in the back line. If it wasn't for him killing Zeus, Zeus would be rampaging damage through this game. And yeah, I mean, just the force that's a big part of that, too, because his blink gets cancelled so often that he needs that secondary mobility yep. item. What does Fear go next? Does he go more move speed like S and Y, or you go for some um, more hardcore items like Assault or Basher? Uh, you could S and Y for mobility. It's a nice way to transition his build, actually, in terms of carry potential. He may be okay for that. Now there's Zeus Dalton, and Weeha's gonna get a- Oh my, nice toss, but is it gonna be enough to get away? Weeha with no force staff for 17 seconds. A little defensive gust, and it's gonna be enough for Weeha to get away. Toss is just so good against <laughs> against uh, Life Stealer. Yeah, that does not more. work on Blade Fury anymore, right? The Jug? Uh, no, you can toss any magic immune unit. You can still do that? Okay. Oh, that was. I think it was a bug that wasn't working. Along with the runes. We talked about this before, right? Oh, yeah, you can toss onto a rune. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Very random. So the Bloodstone's ready for Sumail. Uh, it's an item that he buys just because it increases his mana to regen a lot, and it allows him to farm faster as a result. He never has to worry about wasting spells, because he gets so much mana. He also is good for HP, but, you know, it's kind of late now. It's almost 30 minutes he's going to have a Bloodstone and an Aether yeah. Lens. Um, I don't really know what his solution against a Tiny is, other than killing him first, but, like, Tiny's well, definitely ahead of him. When I saw him building the Soul Booster, I assumed it was going to be Octarine, because, yeah, you're right, the Bloodstone's yeah, a little bit late. That early. You can't build it that early? No, Octarine first isn't very good, I don't think. PPD, Avatos, and a couple more right clicks will be enough to get him. Down he goes to the grave. Oh, he has Aether Lens. Do you still consider that first item then? Uh, pretty con yeah, it's it's very good on, on Zeus. Uh, no, 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 I, is... well, you said first item, but technically Aether Lens. Is that not big enough to be considered first item? Um, I, I don't think it's weird for him to go for Aether Lens first, no. I mean, I would say it's not my question. I hate you item. so much. <laughs> well, it still counts as a first item. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what, that's what you're saying. Like, yeah. it counts as a first item, but it's like a such a core. It's like 2,000 gold. You know, it's not that expensive. It's barely, yeah. it's like saying, okay. do you buy Sanjin Yasha first Radiant's when you get a drum first? You know, it's like not that different. All right, okay, fine. Fine, Purge. Thanks. Thanks, Purge. Yeah, but the Aether Lens is just so good on Zeus to have the that damage and yeah, it's super good. The oh, range Pi Cat, so bot good. lane attempting to TP out, you should be okay. Oh, Pretty sure Arteezy needs to buy a Basher, you know? Yeah, or or you know the MKB either. No, I Basher's know, better, bro. Come on. Go to BKB. Not me. It's a decent MKB game. Um, the, the mini Bashes are good. Stops TPs. Their team is definitely lacking stuns, that's pretty clear. There's been a lot of TP outs by Mama's Boys this game. So Mel's gonna TP top with the help of PPD, gonna force back Mama's boys. And they don't want to go any further. So looking at the item progression for Doom, he has obviously the Blink of Lads. I guess he goes Greaves. Does Greaves take off anything? Let's see. It takes off open uh, wounds, I'm assuming. I think open wounds and that's about it. Obviously it loads the cooldown, so it's worth getting regardless. Another ult from, from the Zeus Master himself. Can we still call him Grandfather Mario? Is that still acceptable? Or is the uh, remodel not Pie Cat? Yeah, you're gonna die unless there's a four staff in sight. Oh, wait, wait, how did he? How did Universe pop out of his hogs? Oh, he got gusted. Okay. Either way, they find the, the kill. There's the golem, just slapping. God, it's so annoying. Got it's so fun to play gold. though, Purge. Yeah, if you we'll guys, I, I haven't played it yet. So fun. Like, you will screw your team over the first like 15 minutes that you're getting it, but. Maniacal laughter will ensue thereafter, so... You don't have to. The faster you hit 6, the better it is. The problem with that build in the past is that if you would sit in the jungle, they'd get a Midas, and then they would keep farming until they had like an armlet and a face. So it's like, actually 20 minutes they wouldn't do anything. But now, as soon as you hit 6, you are creating space on the map. That's the point. I wait for 20 minutes, and then I... Then I get yeah, you're you're doing it wrong. I won every game. 4K bracket, guys. Here we go. Weaver picks up the Aegis, and Mama's Boys is not going to contest it. Roshan is dead, in fact. He does pick up the obvious Desolator. It's not too surprising. Obviously, it's not an MKB. It doesn't stop towers, but this hero just does so much physical damage, and he already has a little bit of minus armor, so comboing them together means that his hero is way better. So I think Drow's got to be really worried now. Yeah. Like, I don't know if he can RTG TP out fast super survivable now, for sure. Yeah. Yep. And lower armor massively, too. And we didn't really mention this, but the fact that... Oh, Arteezy's going to initiate on the Yapsor. Pycat is here, though, and nothing will come of this. Lincoln's obviously it's pretty standard on Weavers in general, but against Doom now that he doesn't have a second spell to actually get rid of it, it's pretty huge. Arteezy can pop BKB. Pycat's getting initiated by Universe. Cogs are gonna push him out of the way. 
what you want to find. Arctizi still BKB pop. That 10 seconds lasts forever. Pycat pops his own. Will it be enough? Gets a nice gust off. Does not have a TP and all likelihood will die. So right clicks of Arctizi. Down he goes. As here comes Weeha. Pops the BKB of his own. Blows up PPD. Absolutely no problem. Time lapse used by Arctizi. Gonna get a little bit extra HP. Yapser in the meantime looking for the Doom but thinks better of it because he's gonna die regardless. Yeah, Weeha. Yeah, we'll see. They really need Ags on, on Universe. He's only like 400 away, so that'll be quite nice for them. Yeah, he's insanely farmed for a Blockwork at this stage in the game. Been in a lot of fights, 14 kills, doing a great job. And Phoenix is pretty close to getting Shiva's actually, which is quite nice. Obviously, the, the synergy with there is lower attack speed against the Egg, which he's been having issues with actually getting off. But there is Weaver, so that's like an innate counter, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's it's really not that amazing of a Phoenix game to be. He made a big difference to stuff. That arrow's hit. Oh, they're going is for it. Is getting oh, blown up? Aegis is popped. Weeha four staffed out. Fear That's in no man's egg. land with that beautiful radiance of his. Oh, no. Again, easy kill on the egg. A little if closer that, than in the past, but... That hmm. wasn't a Weaver they had that. That would have yeah. been a great egg otherwise. And now Weaver up and running again, of course, with that Desto. So minus seven armor to the tower. And they get that one down pretty low. So that's two tier three towers at half HP. Yapsa really wants to get a Doom. We haven't seen the greatest of Dooms this game. Arteezy's going in really deep. Pops the BKB looking for Pycat. Easiest kill of his life. Meantime, Weeha initiates in. Sumail is the Doom target. Looks like they're going to trade lives. One for one. Weeha is attempting to do more. But he's a 1v3. Make it 1v4. Four steps nicely across the cliff. He's pretty quick, has the Blink Dagger up and a TP available. Oh my oh. god, he's going to be scouted out at the last second with the Swarm and down he goes to the Infest Bomb. Fear. Last second burst oh, damage man. is more than enough. Oh. That's slightly unlucky, slight bad planning on Weeha there. He, he threw the bugs to try to catch him. He thought it was going to be tricky and wrap around and TP into the trees, but blinked right into the yeah. bugs. And In hindsight. Could have just blinked straight ahead or the direction well, he was going just TP out probably. Yeah, maybe or turn the corner and blinked back to the right into this large clump of trees maybe. But yeah. that's a big a big loss there for Mama's voice. And as a result, Tiny is forced to buy back. Fear will pop the rage. We'll take very little damage as a result. Free tier three. Doom will be back, but Bolt is on cooldown for 66 seconds. Was that another? Okay, I thought that was a Zeus ult. Never mind. I heard Radiant's hearing things. Teasing now has a Reaver. Mm, mm, mm. Good luck killing that guy. What do they have to cancel Lincoln's before Doom can uh, use his ult? Only Force. Does Toss work against Lincoln's? Uh, it does, yeah. You can toss somebody. He was doing Radiant's it earlier. Lincoln's doesn't do anything attack. against Toss. Unless you toss maybe onto. Like, if you toss somebody onto the Lincoln's target, then I think it might break Lincoln's. Okay. Another Zeus ult. And they catch the smoke. Ping it out. There's a DD available, so... I'm surprised Podcast's not going for that. They've already been scouted out. Huh. Interesting. I actually don't understand. Are they just using this to war? They're not looking to fight, perhaps? The Reaver on the Weaver. Sounds fun. Yeah. He's ridiculous. Is his right clicks messed up for you? They look super uh, weird. They look fine. It's got Deso, is that what you meant? No, the, the, I've seen this before. The Deso effect has gotten lessened. I don't know if it was just on that creep or not. We'll see in a second. Okay, it's normal now. Never mind. Reborn bugs, guys, or eyes. I don't know. Again, ancient black goofy dragon. At it again. How much that damage is this? Too. 85 damage a second for 10 seconds. Come on, man. And that's, <laughs> perma me. And that's permanently up to. It's a macro pyre. <laughs> yeah, it's actually like a macro pyre. Uh, level one macro pyre on a 10 second cooldown that he can cast five times. And not to mention the mana. infest. How much damage does that do when he pops at like 400 at level I mean, three or something? That's kind of irrelevant. For it's not irrelevant. Talking about, it's, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of damage for a team fight, but talking about what the abuse is, the abuse is that when you level six, oh, sure. you can clear a creep wave up to five times <laughs> before you need to get a new neutral. And you're like, you have 2000 HP. Abusive. It's good stuff, man. Like, his net worth is second highest, and he started in the jungle. I'm surprised this isn't being abused more often, because it seems super effective. It's not like... It It looks cheesy, but it's pretty consistent. It's probably because you can just pick a roaming hero like Bounty, and you can limit his experience gain, and then he just sucks. Well, you don't, like, first pick lifesteal, though. Huh? Yeah, you, yeah, but... And more often than not, the, the supports are picked in the first three or four. Like... 
almost never will you have a support picked last. So you'll always have the opportunity to get Life Stealer, I think. The lineup works for it. TZ, I'm gonna clear out these ancient dragon or ancient golems. Where's Fear? Is he still in the dragon? Yep, he's still doing his thing. How does Drow work against Ancients? If the Ancient is close enough with Life Stealer, does it cancel her, her, uh, her uh, ult? That's a good question. I would guess not, but I have actually no idea. Oh, well, maybe we'll see. Dragon. They do no damage to this thing, honestly. 16 armor Allies. on this freaking creep. Are you kidding me? Arteezy with a double damage. Ooh, Moonlight Shadows are just in time. They don't have any vision as of yet. Now a sentry is placed. They're gonna find Yapsor. Hookshot. Nope. But here comes Weeha yet again. Universe is the target of choice. He will drop right off the bat. BKB pop for Weeha. Supernova. Will this one finally go off? Arteezy just gonna BKB attempt to go for it. It's gonna be close. Oh, no! Well. Finally gets it off. That's the first of the game, but Arteezy just time lapses it out. PPD with the Laguna Blade takes out Marana, and Doom goes down, and this is not looking good for M for Mama's boys. As they're just dropping like flies. Phoenix is next on the list. High Cat as well. A couple more right clicks will suffice. Doom had to buy back, but what use is he without his ultimate? And finally, a double kill comes to Mail. His ultimate is used for offensive for the first time this game. And this looks to be Rex. Yeah, that, that fight looked really dangerous there. Um, Sealer probably should have popped out of the infested the egg. The, he kept hitting it with the neutral, but actually does nothing to the egg. doesn't affect it in any way. So if he would have popped out earlier, they would have killed the egg. The fight would have been easier. Arteezy getting silenced up. He doesn't but, care, man. I mean, His HP is so high now. Yeah. Now the centaur creep is coming to the <laughs> so even the centaur creep is scary. 38 minutes in the game because of the radiance. Hookshot will miss. Universe has the Aghanim Scepter though, so he's not too worried about that. And this is going to be two racks in all likelihood. And that's a pretty big advantage for EG. Uh, Mama's boys have a pretty good laning stage, but this is basically the life stealer show all game. And they made PPD really weak, but that's what happens if you're playing Alina versus a tiny. Yeah, Weeha coming with another nice combo. Veil of Discord is used. Damage. And Weeha almost dies just to the couple right clicks. Universe misses another hookshot, very uncharacteristic from him. Weeha lives with about 100 HP, but again, this is going to be Mega Creeps going the way of EG. Air will not connect, and bye bye Creeps. Bye bye Mama Boys in game number one. EG will take this, unless they throw horribly, <laughs> but I highly doubt it's going to be the case. And GG is called. It's so just not a one, good game for, for a Draw Ranger. That was yeah. basically it. The time, like, we all played amazing. I think he carried them pretty heavily this game, but... And I think Bottom played really well also, but maybe we didn't see enough Dooms in the early game. They just didn't have very good gank heroes, really. It was basically... The only ganks they had was, like, Tiny, right? And they can maybe Doom somebody in teamfight. Just EG could do whatever they want. They pushed all the lanes constantly due to the Black Dragon, and...